There are some women who should have mountains to bear their name to time. Now I'm gonna tell you why. I've taken all my last chances, divided by my near misses, and found out that this is my second time around. And I've got my ear pressed so close to the ground that I can hear the sound of my mother telling me you will not be this. See, from kindergarten to grade eight, I was teased and beaten so bad, came home crying every day. Until my mother's eyes developed a voice and I saw them say, you've got a choice. You can choose to run from these fights until your life gets narrowed down to either hit or miss, or you can do whatever you have to do to make them love you because you will not be this. So from a father with scoliosis to a mother with multiple sclerosis, I ended up in the middle with a diagnosis handed down to me by my class so-called mates. Sends me to a life alone with their first impressions. All of those courtroom sessions going on in the backs of my trying to find some way to prove me guilty, and I was ugly. But I made them love me. See, on my first time around, I played Icarus. Got so close to the sun that I fell. Seven over through heaven wound up in hell, but this is my second time around. And the next time I climb to the top of that summit, I'm going to get so close to the sun, I can roast marshmallows from it. Because I don't care how you suffer. You ever been reeled in, reamed out, picked on, put down based on what you look like? I won't lie to you. I won't say everything is going to be okay. I won't pretend, but I will put my arm around you and say, don't worry, friend. I'm calling you friend. Because as for what is beautiful and what is not, I am the backdrop. I am the stop sign of the line you crossed through ask, why do you want our respect so bad? Because you told me I can't have it. And I'll be goddamned if I don't get it. Every expectation you placed on me, I met it. And I refused to edit my life. So as for what is beautiful and what is not, I've got your answer. I am your basis for comparison. I am the garrison that holds up the terrible weight of beauty. But I'm not a soldier, so it is not my duty to apologize for how I look. It took me two times around, but I found that I am one of a kind. And those people out there got to buy now that the selection is good, and they're not too broke to change their mind. And I'm sure if they check, they might find enough loose beauty jigging around their pockets to go buy some self-respect. And I don't just preach this, I teach this. I don't just give this, I live this. Because stubbornness is like the color of my eyes. And I've heard enough lies to know the truth that in my youth, stubbornness is something my mother gave me. So I made it my friend. I started to blend knowledge with wisdom. My mother taught me to take the Bruce Lee approach to learning. Learning as self-defense. And I've learned a thing or two about a thing or two. And yeah, it's true. Maybe I don't take off my shirt when I'm sleeping beside you. But when I was six years old, they peeled me off the street and the skin on my back stuck to the hospital stretcher sheet like thinly sliced deli meat in an accident. Turned me into a work of art with a doctor like a museum curator reading my chart to a bunch of interns who whispered they'd seen third degree burns by the look ones on my back. But life's a gamble. So I learned to stack the odds in my favor. I learned to savor the hand I was dealt. Yes, yeah, sometimes I felt like life is really just more trouble than it's worth. Even my birth was a tragedy that ensured my mother would never have another baby. And maybe if you didn't tell that doctor to cut into you, your womb would have became my tomb. That was my first time around. And since then I've found my life is neither hit or miss. And I still cry sometimes, but don't worry, I will not be this. Yeah!